Hi, we're back. Howie here from Howie's Late Night Rush. Hey, happy belated, everyone. I haven't had a chance to give you a happy belated New Year, man. This is the uh, first week with uh, new comics, man. I'm really psyched about this because this is the network, RSN, that they named it after this gentleman who started his own TV in a basement, Rondell Sheridan. Way to go, man. You know, what, what a... What a trendsetter you are. Yeah, you know, a long time ago, network. well, they, they passed a proclamation. They wanted more black people to come up here. Uh -huh. And as an incentive, they gave, gave me the you network, the, uh, the, the network. Rondell Sheridan Network. That's incredible. So, yeah, it is. We're going to be changing up a little bit. We're going to have Good Times and the Jeffersons right. now, and Fresh Prince. We'll now, what about Disney? Up. Because, folks, uh, he is a star of That's So Raven. Yeah, you know is what? Is Disney being, upset about that? Being a star of Disney is like being the tallest little person in your village. <laughs> 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 It's, it's not really that big of a deal. I think you have a big deal. Yes. David Gee. I know. David big Gee. man, funny man. Yeah. David Gee. You Next know, to the founder of the network. I know. Thank it's you. really amazing. It, it is. Really I'm excited. David Gee is actually three people in one. He's like a transformer. I actually saw him last night backstage, and it's like three little people make up. The make up of David Gee? Yeah, it's incredible. It really is. You're like the Trojan horse for someone trying to get in? He I is. Am. He is. Yeah. No I'm one a very is that complex tall. individual. He might be the one of the tallest people in comedy. Now, we all love movies, and I have to say this because I saw... You're going to be so embarrassed. Oh, wait. Did you get a clip? If you had, had oh, a clip, that would have been really cool. I will get a clip. Oh, that would have been really cool. He, he, Rondell Sheridan, long before he did the Disney thing, Dead Time Stories, <laughs> 1984. I looked it up. Oh, yeah. That was yeah. that was a different Rondell. Yeah. I that was, was in a good, shape. I, like, I was ripped. No, I, really I was loved. ripped back then. It was great. We I love movies. And David loves movies. Oh, I do too, yeah. We were talking about the Golden Globes. What do you think? Obviously, they're always a harbinger of things to come. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, if I'm, uh, I'm looking at uh, Slumdog Millionaire, Slumdog perhaps, Millionaire? as a... As really a good. front runner, Kate Winslet certainly. Yeah, for two. Yeah. Pretty. Well, I, I love the Golden Globes though because they're drinking. I don't know if you remember, but <laughs> you, they, I, I, Ricky Gervais came out with a cocktail. Oh. He had a beer. You know, I mean, I love that. You never see that at the. Well, uh, funny, yeah. I yeah. love the Golden Globes just for the Golden Globes. Yeah. Uh, you really don't see boobage like that anywhere else. Yeah. 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 They, they, yeah. It's and it's the winter boobage. Yeah. Which is, you know, they <laughs> bring them out. It's kind of you know, it's like Groundhog's Day. They bring them out special for I, that. No, yeah. I, uh, David made a great comment about uh, Heath Ledger won for Best Supporting Actor for The Dark Knight. What do you think about for the Oscars? Well, you know, I think they're going to have to you know, clear that, that mantle uh, over at the Ledger household. Uh, well, move the ashes, I guess, too. But, uh, <laughs> oh, that was bad. That was bad. Yeah, you're right. Well, how many people have won posthumously? How many people have won posthumously? Peter Finch. Peter Finch for well, that network. Network. Network, network yeah. yeah. Uh, anyone else? I don't know. I'm yeah. trying to think of, yeah. I think think so. of but I think this will be cool because uh, I think definitely best uh, best director. Because yeah. they got nominated. Dark Knight also got nominated for the DGA Awards. They've right. only been wrong six times in 60-some odd yeah, years. I, I, so. I think... I think comics and movies just go hand in hand. I do yeah. too. Yeah, I, I used to think that about sports too, but yeah, it isn't but this necessarily is the best, true. This is the best comic book made oh, movie yeah. ever. Oh yeah, you, you can't. You know, they took all the camp out. Yeah, you know, there's very few. It had a really great story. Great, just everything. I interviewed the director, Chris Nolan. He said that he might not do a third one. Good. Really? Yeah. Well, look at Tim Burton. He did one and two. Yeah. It was great. Three and four were rubbish. And, yeah. and, and, and so maybe Nolan's two for two. Yeah. They're both great. How do you top that? Yeah. Exactly. You'd have to kill, kill off Christian Bale. Wow. Oh I didn't even really think. Well, yeah, that was tough. Yeah. We yeah. did that in 310 to Yuma. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Folks, uh, this week at the Improv, David Gee and the founder of RSN, Rondell Sheridan. Thank you, man. Gold. You're more than welcome. That's really great. We'll be back after this.